Hello and welcome to our exhibition on the Historic Memorials Collection, on display here at Australian Parliament House until May 2022. This year marks the 110th anniversary of the Historic Memorials Collection, offering a unique perspective into the intersection between art and politics. It is also Australia's longest running commissioned art program. Our collection has over 260 artworks, which reflect not only political history, but also the evolution of Australian portraiture. The collection chronicles the three branches of Australian government, the parliament, the executive, and the judicial. We capture portraits of monarchs, governors general, presidents of the Senate and speakers of the House, justices of the High Court, and of course, prime ministers. We also include important parliamentary firsts, such as the first indigenous men and women to sit in federal parliament. Nova Peris was the first female indigenous Australian to serve in federal parliament. The artist, Dr. Jandamara Cad, painted her portrait to capture this important milestone. And in doing so, he became the first Indigenous artist to be commissioned by the collection. Sir Henry Parks was the first of our federal leaders to be knighted and the first to receive a commissioned portrait by the Historic Memorials Collection. This painting, a replica, the original being held in the Sir Henry Parks Memorial School of Arts in Tenterfield, New South Wales. Julia Gillard was our first female Prime Minister. This black and white portrait study by Melbourne artist Vincent van Tauzo is both in style and composition vastly different to prime ministerial portraits that have come before. Ken Wyatt is another one of our parliamentary firsts, the first Indigenous Australian to be elected to the House of Representatives. He is also the first Indigenous person to serve as a cabinet minister. William Morris Hughes was Australia's seventh Prime Minister and one of the more controversial portraits. Five separate artists attempted to capture Mr Hughes. Two paintings were accepted by the committee by Norman Carter and George Lambert. However, Mr Hughes rejected both. In the end, he accepted this portrait by Norman Carter. But after he passed away, the committee instead chose to display the version by George Lambert. This is Charles Wheeler's second attempt at a portrait of Sir Robert Menzies. However, it was notoriously vandalised whilst on display at the Provisional Parliament House. Ivor Heal was commissioned to paint a replacement which now hangs in Members Hall. Our official portrait of Gough Whitlam was painted by artist Clifton Pugh and won the Archibald Prize in 1972. It's painted in a style known as German Expressionism, focusing on capturing emotions and inner feelings over reality. See our historic memorials collection or participate in our free Prime Minister's Portraits Tour. You will experience works rarely on display and learn the stories behind them. Discover our full collection when you visit us here at Australian Parliament House.